the twelve months from the Balkans. Once there was a girl, and her name was Marishka, and Marishka was a lovely girl, the youngest in her family, and her family consisted of her stepmother and her stepsister, and her stepsister was not very nice, and Marishka was very nice and very sweet and very kind and very pretty. And when they got to be young women, and young men would come courting her older stepsister, they'd take one look at Marishka and forget about her stepsister. And the stepmother and the stepsister were very cruel to her. They made her do all the housework, and she had to do all the work around the farm. But Marishka was so good that she never complained. But they knew now that the girls were older, that if they didn't get rid of Marishka, her older stepsister would never marry. So the two women made a plan. It was the middle of January, the coldest month of the year. It was snowing and the wind was howling. And the stepsister came out right after breakfast and said, Marishka, you know what I want? Well, what's that, stepsister? I want you to go out in the woods and find some lilacs for me. I want to braid them into a crown for my hair and a ring around my neck. So when I go to church on Sunday, I'll have them. And Marishka said, Sister, it's the middle of the winter. There are no lilacs anywhere. She said, you go find me some. She says, there aren't any. And the stepmother hit her on the back of the head and said, you do what your sister tells you. Now you get out there and you find some. And they shoved her out the door. All she had on was her skirt, her blouse, and a shawl. And it was freezing and she was so cold. And she started walking through the fields and then into the woods. There were no lilacs. The snow was a foot deep. And then in the distance she saw fire. She thought, oh, maybe I can warm myself there. And when she got close, she saw that the fire was surrounded by 12 stone chairs. In the first chair, there was a large, strong, older man with a big white beard and long white hair. And even though he was older, you could still tell it he was still powerful. And in his hand, he held a wand. And next to him was another older man, and then an older woman, and then a middle-aged man, and a middle-aged woman, and a middle-aged woman, and then slightly younger, till it came to the last of the twelve, and those three were very young. And Marishka realized she was staring at the twelve months of the year. This was where they held court. And the king was January. And she bowed in front of January, and she said, May I warm my hands by the fire? And January nodded. And she warmed her hands by the fire, and all of a sudden the great January spoke and said, What are you doing out here in the cold, girl? You should be home where it's warm. I've been sent out to find lilacs, to braid into a wreath for my sister's hair, and for a necklace around her neck. Lilacs? There are no lilacs. This is January. This is my month. She said, if I don't find them, they will beat me when I get home. And January's eyes got very dark. And he turned to one of the younger women on his right and said, April, come here. And the young woman walked over the month of April, and he handed her his wand, and when he did, all the snow disappeared, and the leaves started to come out on the trees, and there were lilacs everywhere, and he said, take as many as you can carry, and Marishka filled up her apron with lilacs, and she bowed and thanked him and ran home, and he took his wand back, and the snow and the ice filled the air. When she got home, her stepmother and stepsister saw the lilacs and said, Where did you find these? There were some left in the woods. Oh, they made braids for her sister to wear around her neck and in her hair. But still they had to get rid of Marishka. And so uh, later that afternoon they said, Marishka, you know what we fancy for dessert today? What's that, Gran? What's that, stepsister, stepmother? We fancy... Strawberries. Strawberries? It's January. There are no strawberries. No place to get strawberries. 
And the stepmother grabbed her and threw her out the door and said, Find us strawberries or don't come home. Freeze to death for all I care. And poor Mariska took her shawl and she huddled inside that shawl and she walked till she saw the fire again. And she went up to it and she bowed and she asked January if she could warm herself by the fire. And as she did so, January said, What are you looking for, child? She said, I need strawberries. My stepmother and stepsister want them for their dessert. Strawberries in winter. Hmm. He turned and said, June, come here. And June, a middle-aged man, walked towards him and he handed June his wand. And the snow and the ice disappeared and the leaves came out of the tree and the sun came out full and bright and there were strawberries all over the ground. And she picked an apron full, and she thanked January, and she thanked June, and she ran back home. And January took his wand back. And so she got home, and she showed the strawberries, and they ate them up, and they didn't give her one. But late that night, the stepmother and the stepsister said, Mariska, we would like some apples. And Mariska knew better to say anything. She just grabbed her shawl and she walked out the door. There was no arguing with these two. And she walked till she came to the fire and again she asked January, can I warm myself? And January said, of course. And he said, what do they want this time, child? Apples. Apples. September, come here. And young man September came and he gave him the wand and the snow and the ice disappeared. And the trees blossomed, and the blossom turned to apples. And then January said, you may only have two. And she reached up and picked two beautiful apples, put them in her apron. She bowed and ran home. January took back his wand, and he sat there, and he was angry. And when she got home, she gave the two apples to her stepmother and her stepsister. And they said, where are the rest? These are delicious, but where are the rest? We could sell these and make a lot of money, you know. I could only bring home two. Well, where are they? Where are these tr special trees you found? In the forest. And they locked her in her room and said, You terrible girl, you should have brought more back. And the stepmother and the stepdaughter looked at each other and said, If we found a bushel of these, we could make a fortune in the market. So they put boots on and warm coats and scarves and gloves. And they walked through the forest till they found that bonfire. Do you think they asked permission to warm their hands? No. no. They just walked up and started warming their hands. And January said, Are you Marishka's stepmother and stepsister? And the stepmother turned and says, What business is it yours, old man? We're here to find apples. Do you have any for us? No. Well, then we'll be on our way, and we'll find those apples. And they started walking away, but January gripped his wand tighter and tighter and tighter, and the cold was unbearable, and the wind blew, and soon there were two statues of ice in the forest. The stepmother and the stepsister never came back to the farm. Marishka made her way out the window and through the front door again. She inherited the farm. Some people say she married a young man in the village, and they were successful farmers. Others say she ran the farm herself, and she was a, sex a successful farmer. It doesn't make any difference. Either way, Marishka lived happily ever after, which is a lot more that could be said for his stepmother and her stepsister.